and then at 10, we wrap things up with CSI. Melissa Lamb joining us now for our Pinterest segment, our in-house Martha Stewart, and a <laughs> great idea for someone who's getting married. That's right, and this can be used for a bridal shower, it can be used, you know, as a wedding gift, and we all know how many weddings you have in the summer, so I thought, I do a wedding theme um, champagne glass. Okay, so where are we finding these? These are the these glasses. These are actually from the dollar store. And you these are love plastic. the dollar I store. Do it's love amazing. Dollar store. And these are actually plastic, so you don't have to worry about them breaking. Mm -hmm. Glass is a bit better. It does look a bit more professional and a little bit nice, but uh, in terms of transportation, I was a little nervous about bringing glass, so I just bought the little plastic ones. Okay. Yeah. So you start with the glass. So you start with the glass. And if you are using glass, you just have to make sure you find paint that can paint on glass. Um, and oftentimes, you will actually have to uh, rub the wine glass down with alcohol and let mm -hmm. it sit for 21 oh. days before you can paint on. For 21 days. Mm -hmm. Okay, a great and tip there for someone yeah. who's thinking they're going to do this project later on in the day. The instructions are on the paints, so if you look for paints, you just look for Martha Stewart Craft Paints, hers are really good, um, but just basically look on the back and it'll tell you all the mediums that you can paint on. And then it usually says if you do need to clean the surface or not before you start painting on it. And then it's really easy to do, and then you don't ha you don't have to do wedding. There's a ton in our Famous site. Famous last words, uh huh? <laughs> no, but it really is. It's not um, the hardest thing. I think is probably writing the person's name. But if you're not too good with penmanship, all you have to do is put Mrs. and Mr. You don't have to actually mm -hmm. write their last name. And there's tons of different ones. You can even get a stencil like this one here. This is just a damask stencil, and then just stencil the damask onto the wine glass itself. Oh wow! Which I have actually done before, and it mm -hmm. turns out really really well. The uh, Tons of options. You can do like little swirls. This oh. isn't something that's too hard to do. Um, another one that I really Since liked. Melissa, yes. And is really handy. Simply just putting a stained glass and number on it. Because you know how when there's 10 wine glasses, mm -hmm. you never know which one's yours. If you have a number, you just remember your number. So it's kind of like identifying your own wine glass. Very cute. But anyways, to get to the uh, bridal ones yes. which we're doing today, all you have to do, and this one has a little jewel on you can Very kind cute. of decorate it the way you want. Um, for the female, you just do a little hump, like a little sweetheart in the shape of a dress. Okay, I'm just going to try this, yeah. right? Go so for it. So we have white, where is this, the white paint? The white here, yeah. You might have to add a little more. So just add a little, to make like a little heart, almost like a shape of a heart. However high up you want, depending. I kind of did it above the little bump and kind of okay. use that as my, uh, my guide. Or you could do a straight dress. It really depends. I like your really sweet. I like you. the, the way you've the done your dress. The sweetheart. And I mean, you, you don't have to worry about messing up because you can just take off the paint. It's not, when, once it's on there, it's not stuck. Okay. And for the male, it's pretty simple. It's just basically a straight line like a tuxedo, leaving a little triangle for the white shirt underneath. This is actually a lot of fun. Yeah, and you do have to put several coats. It's not going to yeah, go in with one coat. So you're going to see it through like that, and you're going to think, what am I doing wrong? It's totally normal. I had to do about three coats. It could even use an extra fourth coat. And you But it, the paint does dry really quickly, so you don't have to uh, worry about taking you forever. I'm getting there. You're getting there. And you just basically paint the bottom of the design. You're right. And then you put the Mrs. and Mr. The other little thing that you can add on, which is really cute, is you can add their wedding date mm -hmm. on the bottom. So this is 8 24 12. And then just have the different sport. colors and be able to have them like yeah. that. And I mean, I've seen some where they've actually, um, brides have done them for bridesmaids and grooms, or groomsmen. You can, you know, put groom on one and then all your groomsmen have another one. You can do them for your bridesmaids as well. I think there's actually an example of that one here. I thought this one was really cute. It's the oh. bride, bridesmaid, maid of honor. This is actually a good gift for a bride to give to her bridesmaids. Very cute. Yeah. I love them. Okay, you can always find more information on Melissa Lamb's Pinterest segments uh, on our Pinterest page. It's the same as our Twitter handle. That's right. TV Live. Great.